Hey guys welcome back, and today we are going to create this nice banner design for social media in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. First go to file and create a new artboard with square dimensions. Select the rectangle tool, and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Change its color to a dark blue shade. Note down the RGB code for this color and apply it. Now select the ellipse tool and create a circle while holding down the shift key. Change its color so you can see it properly. Align it to the center of the artboard. Open the gradient panel. And apply a radial gradient to this circle. Click on this right slider of the gradient. And change its opacity to zero. Now change the color of this left slider to a bright shade. Note down the RGB code for this color. Now you can scale this circle as you like. And place it slightly towards the bottom side. Now add some food image here. First drag this wooden board image in Illustrator. You can download these images from the video description. Align it to the center. And scale it down accordingly. Now drag this food image in Illustrator. It's a high resolution image. So we need to scale it down. Align it to the center. And scale it down further to fit the wooden board. Make sure to scale it and place it properly in front. Now select this food image. Go to effect. And apply a shadow to it. Note down these values for the shadow and hit OK. Now the food is looking more realistic. Now we will add some background shadow for our food image. Select the ellipse tool, and create an ellipse like this. Make sure that its fill color is black. And align it to the center. Now apply some blur to this ellipse. Select a value around 40. And hit OK. Again go to effect. And apply some feather effect this time. Select a value around 30 and hit OK. Open the layers panel. And place this ellipse behind the food image. Slightly adjust its shape and adjust its position properly. Now we have some nice background shadow. Select the food image and the ellipse and press Ctrl G to group them. Now we will add some headline text here. Select the Type tool, and write some headline text. Change its color to white. And align it to the center. Change the font accordingly. Note down the font that I'm using here. Increase its font size to a larger value and adjust its position. Hold down the ALT key, and click and drag to create a copy. Replace it with some other text, and decrease its font size accordingly, and place it closer to the main headline. 
change its color to yellow. Note down the RGB code for this yellow color. Now move this food image towards the bottom side to create some space for text. Add some extra text here about the food product. Select the type tool, and create a text box here. Write some text about the food. Change its color to white. Use some decent font for this. And decrease the font size. Adjust the text box according to the text. And place it to a proper position like this. Slightly decrease its opacity to 80%. You can note down the font that I've used here. Add your logo at the top left corner. I will write some random text just to give you an idea. You don't need to write this text. Just add your logo here. Now we can add some more text here. Write some useful text here. Adjust its font size. And place it closer to the food image. Select this half text. And change its color to make it more appropriate. Now add some discount offer here. Select the ellipse tool, and create an ellipse here. Click on this arrow to remove the fill and apply a stroke. Now open the stroke panel. If you cannot see this panel, go to window, and here you will see stroke. Open this panel, and click on this dashed line. Note down the dash points that I'm using. Now we have a nice dashed stroke for the ellipse. Copy this text, and add some discount offer. Write any discount offer that you like. Adjust the font size of this text. Apply a different color to make it more appropriate. Now place this text inside this ellipse. And slightly rotate if you want to. Place this discount offer closer to the food image. Now add some text at the bottom side. Select the rectangle tool, and create a small rectangle here. Go to effect, and round its corners. Select a suitable value, and hit OK. Now write some text for this rectangle. Adjust its font size. And align it to the center of this rectangle. Now align this rectangle to the center of the artboard. Create a copy of this text. Change its color to white. 
and write some contact info here. Change its alignment to left. Create another copy. And write a contact number. Slightly increase its font size. Adjust the remaining text accordingly. Place this text on a position like this. Now copy this bold text. And write some helpful link here. Adjust its font size. And place it properly. Now we will add some extra shapes here. Select the ellipse tool, and create a small circle here. Scale it down to make it really small. Right click on this circle. Go to transform. And select transform each. Change the vertical movement to 10 pixels. And create a copy. Press Ctrl D to repeat this step. Select all these circles. Again right click. And transform each. But this time. Change the horizontal movement to 10 pixels. And create a copy. Again press Ctrl D several times to repeat this step. Select all these circles. Press Ctrl G to group them. And place them here at the corner. Hold down the Alt key, and click and drag to create a copy. Change its color to the same yellow shade. Create a copy and place it on the opposite side. Select both these shapes. And decrease their opacity to 70%. Now select the Rectangle tool. And create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Go to Object, and make a clipping mask. And here is the final output. Hope you liked this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video. And also subscribe to Mac Visuals. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.